Hi guys, and welcome to my January little book haul. Um, so I bought four books this month, all from Tesco's in the two for seven um, like deal, or you can get one for three eighty five. So I started reading one of them, and I just wanted to show you like what ones I got, and if you're interested in buying them, go ahead. Um, because they don't stay that long in Tesco's, because they do like all the newest authors. So catch them while you can. So this is the one I started reading and I am in love with it. It's called We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves. Now I did talk about this in my previous video um, but I'll just recap. Basically it's about sibling relationships and family relationships in general um, but there's like a massive twist in it. So you like read the first part and you're like okay I kind of get where this is going and then you're like what what is going on? Like it's really weird and at that point I didn't know if I wanted to carry on reading because it was quite a weird twist and I was like okay this is like kind of invalidates what I felt before does that make sense but actually I carried on reading and it is really really good and it's something I've never read before it's really interesting um so yes I would definitely recommend this all these authors as well by the way I have not read before at all so I'm really excited for that because normally I like pick an author and then I read like loads of her books or his books and then do the same for like other authors. So I'm going completely new this year and then see how I get on with them. Um, so the other one I got with that book was The Last Days of Rabbit Haze. Well, that rhymes, I didn't realise that, I hadn't said it out loud before. It's a very nice title. By Anna Muck Partlin. And um, I think this is going to be a bit emotional, it's basically about this girl called Rabbit. I think she's a lady because she has a daughter and she has a certain amount of time to live so she's like well I'll read you the end of the blurb um but it turns out the world has another plan for Rabbit but she's okay with that because she has she has plans for the world too and only a handful of days left to make them happen so basically she has an amazing family um and she's just presumably doing something I don't know I haven't read the book um to fulfil her dreams or whatever in her last days. So I think that's going to be really interesting and maybe quite emotional as well. It says, enormously readable, funny and emotionally engaging. So I'll let you know what I think about that one, but I think that's going to be quite thought-provoking. Um, and then I've got two others that are more like lovey ones. So this one's by Alice Peterson. It says, one step closer to you. Um, it's about these people called Polly and Ben. So Polly has a son <laughs> she has a son and um, she's now a single mother and Ben is a guardian of his niece so they basically like me and bond over like their children but not his his guardian child um, and get very close and then Polly's ex her son's father like steps back on the scene and like it's like a bit complicated so I think that's going to be like a classic like love story one but I do like these every so often and then the last one I got is called Francesca's Party now this is a really quite a thick one and this is by Patricia Scallan the Sunday Times the bestseller um, now basically this is about like a wife and a mother and she's called Francesca I thought the author was called Francesca as well, that was um, Francesca. And basically she finds something on her husband's mobile, because he's left his mobile home, and it basically says, in the space of ten minutes, her uncomfortable, safe, uneventful life is shattered. She has a choice, sink or swim. So I presume she decides to swim, and it's all about, like, well, she throws this massive party and stuff, um... And it's all about how she thought it'd be terrifying, but actually, like, brings certain things out in her and whatever. So I don't know if she does, like, stay with him or whatever. But I think that one's going to be a really good read as well. So, yeah, as I say, all in Tesco's at the moment. Obviously, you can probably pick them up other places as well. Um, I do like going into Waterstones a lot. It's my favourite bookshop, but they don't seem to have... It seems as I'm living on a budget at the moment. They don't seem to have the same, like, um, promotions and, like, sales as, like places like Tesco does so totally up to you but that's what I'm reading this month so thank you for watching and I will see you very soon bye bye